I'm excited. I've been tired of summer. Hello friends, my name is Stephanie. Welcome. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do this fall makeup look because yes, it is fall or technically based on Google, fall is a September 21st, but it is September, so I count that as fall, and I'm very excited that it's fall. It's one of my favorite times of the year, and I just can't wait for Halloween, honestly. I mean, technically, September and October are one big celebration of Halloween. But yeah, that's what we're doing on this video, just showing you how to do this fall makeup look. Okay, so we're going to start off with the eyes. I already did my eyebrows off camera, as you can see. They're a little bit... They're there, that's all that matters. And my face is a little bit rough. Your girl is having a rough time with her face, all these little zits and pimples. <sighs> all right, so I'm gonna go in with the Revolution Conceal and Define, this one right here in the shade C1. This is not my shade for concealing, but I love the C1 for carving out my eyebrows or carving out the sh eyes. <laughs> I like to use it because it pops up more, the colors pop up more when I use a lighter shade than my own concealer shade. So I'm going to go in and start placing this on my eyelids. Alright, once your eyes are set, we're going to go in with the James Charles palette and we're going to go in with that orange, very bright orange right there into our crease. I mean, if you get it all over the lid, that's fine. We're gonna clean it up anyways, cause we're gonna do a little bit half cut crease or cut lid, whatever you call it, but just blend in that orange. Now I'm just gonna buff that in outwards like this. Um, don't worry if it's a little messy, we are gonna clean it up afterwards so you can have that swoop line perfectly. And yeah, just build up that orange and make it nice and bright. And then once you have that orange, I'm gonna take another clean brush and go in with the yellow from that same palette, from the James Charles palette. And blend it in right there on the top of that orange, kind of blended it together. Once you have that yellow kind of buff out on the top of the orange, we're gonna go ahead with a little red moment, just a little bit. Oh, I like that color way better. I'm gonna go with this orange red tone right here, this one, and place it on the outer corner. So just place it on the outer corner and start buffing it towards the inner corner, just a little bit. Um, we are going to clean it out when we carve out our uh, eyelid, so it's fine. Okay, so now we have something like this, and I'm going to go ahead and carve out my lid with the same concealer, the Revolution Conceal and Define in the shade C1, using my concealer brush from e.l.f. And just start stamping the shape and kind of carve it out with your lid halfway. So not all the way, but just halfway. Okay, now that we have it carved up, I am gonna define the line a little bit more with that orange, going back with the orange. And I'm just using a paintbrush with the fine tip. Yes, I like to use paintbrushes sometimes when I play around with my makeup. There's nothing wrong with that. They're kind of the same. They work just fine. So I'm gonna go back with that orange from the James Charles palette and kind of define my line just a little bit more. And now we're just gonna go back with the same colors, the burgundy red and then the orange and then a little bit of the yellow. So I'm going back with that burgundy red, red orange color and placing it right here, kinda in an angle this way. I'm probably gonna place a white to see how it looks over this one. 
Okay, so that's looking pretty good already. I'm gonna take a very fine tip brush and I'm gonna go and uh, make a little line, yellow liner right here. Right there, the little yellow liner. And to do that yellow liner, I literally just took some setting spray, sprayed my fine tip brush, like very fine tip, and then went into the yellow and kind of just mix it in. You can use water too, that works just fine. But I found that setting spray works a lot better and it actually sets the liner and it just looks, it stays on longer than if you were to use just water. All right, so we're pretty much done with the eyes, the shadow. I'm gonna go ahead and clean it up right here. I'm just gonna use a little bit of makeup remover to clean it up. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add some lashes and finish the eye look. So I'm just cleaning it up just a little bit, making that line right there. And then I'm gonna use a little bit of my concealer to fix it just a little bit. All right, so we finished off the eye, got my little swoop, clean it out. I put a little bit of mascara. Now I'm gonna go off camera and do the other eye, put on false lashes, and I'll be right back. All right, and I am back. I finished off the eyes, put on some false lashes, and it's looking pretty good so far. The eyes are sisters, they're not twins, cause I did mess up a little bit, but yeah, we're gonna move on to the face. And I'm gonna start off with a primer. And my go-to primer, I love this primer so much, is the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. And this is how much I love this product. Like, I had to go buy a whole new one because... Look at that. I cleaned it off. My ass said, nope, we're getting everything. We're getting every single little product i don't like to waste product okay so yeah I, <laughs> I really love this primer i just i love that and i love the mint one the green one it's also a very good one but yeah we're gonna go in with the primer to start you know priming our face and get ready for foundation probably seems like a lot but it's very thin layer Okay, now that we have primed our face, we're gonna go in with foundation. And I like to mix these two foundations together. So they're both from Maybelline. It's the Maybelline Superstay Active Wear and the Maybelline Superstay Full Coverage. So I'm mixing both of these and I'm in the shade 30H and 24H. I'm gonna go ahead and mix it on my face. I just like to mix it on the face and kind of get it all mixed in there. And then just blend it in with your beauty blender. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and conceal underneath my eyes using the L Hydrating Camo Concealer. And this is in the shade Light Beige. Just a little bit. I also like to use this to brighten up some parts of my face. Take in a beauty blender and go ahead and blend that in. All right, and then we're gonna go and set our under eyes. I'm gonna be using the Loose Setting Powder by True Complexion, Black Radiance True Complexion Loose Powder. And what I like to do is use a little bit of setting spray and wet my sponge just a little bit to kind of set that powder into my skin, to melt into my skin. 
if that makes sense. Sorry if you can't really see what I'm doing sometimes because I have the mirror like right here. <laughs> I need to get better at this, but yeah, I'm so sorry. And I'm also gonna set the areas, like my T-zone area where I get oily. And then just with the big fluffy brush, I'm gonna get a little bit of that loose powder, just a little bit, and finish off my whole face. Okay, so now we're gonna go back to the lower lash line and add the color. So I'm gonna go in with that, back with that burgundy red color that's in our outer corner on the lower lash line. And I'm just gonna follow the same pattern. So I'm gonna go right where it stops from the top to the bottom and then go in with the orange and then yellow. That's all I'm gonna be doing. And then just taking a little bit of mascara and going over it to my lower lash line. Okay, so the eyes are pretty much done. We're gonna go ahead and finish off the face. Now I'm gonna bronze up and contour. I'm gonna be using the NYX Matte Bronzer. And I think this is, this is in the deep tan shade. I really love this bronzer. A little bit goes a long way and it's also very affordable. You can get it anywhere in a in your drugstore. And this has become my new favorite drugstore bronzer. It's really affordable, very nice, very buildable. I really like it. I'm gonna go ahead and contour my nose just a little bit. Now I'm gonna move on to blush. And for blush, I'm using the e.l.f. Putty Blush in this shade right here, this one. Okay, I, sh I think I should have done the putty blush before I did powder, because it did separate the products a little bit. So I'm gonna go with this blush right here, this one. And I put a little bit of my nose just to give it like a little bit blushy nose and kind of like sun kiss. Now moving on to highlight, I'm going to use my everyday highlight palette. This is like my go-to highlight palette and I use it every single day. It's a Sofix Revolution palette going in with that gold, this gold right here. And I am excited for fall. Ooh, I don't know if you can see that. So shiny. I'm excited for fall, guys. Woohoo! Even though in Texas it's still fucking hot. I mean, in the mornings you wake up and it's like 60 degrees, but then at the end of the day, like in the afternoon, it's like 90. Like you're wearing a nice knitted sweater, and then by the end of the day, you're taking it off and going like, fuck, I'm hot, I'm sweating. Going on the bridge of my nose, on the tip of my nose, on top of my lip, on my cupid's bow. Yeah, and then the axis will go on a little bit on my forehead. Just a little bit. I know I don't talk I don't talk a lot on makeup videos, like when I'm doing makeup and showing you guys how to do this look. I don't know why. It's like I'm full on concentration mode and I'm also kinda like I wanna get this over with. Like, is that just me? I don't know. But I'm gonna go ahead and set my face and make it come back to skin like and not so powdery and i'm going to be using the nyx matte finish spray or the matte finish finny matte what i'm so confused okay the long lasting matte finish Ooh, i think i did too much <laughs> this is not this is how my hands are going really fast. I'm not actually speeding it up. 
I don't know why I did that. I'm gonna use a beauty blender and just kind of set that spray into my skin. So I melt in my skin a little bit nicer. Okay, so our face is pretty much set. It's looking pretty, pretty healthy, pretty good. I don't see much acne scars or redness, which I like. And now I'm gonna go into the last step, which I know usually the last step is a setting spray, but I don't know, I just, sometimes the lips is mainly the last step for me. So I am using the Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink this color right here so it's like very fall again this is a fall makeup look and usually in fall makeup looks you have dark lips sometimes i like dark lips okay so the fact that it's fall and it's that time of year for me to finally wear vampy dark lips i'm excited i am excited so again going with the maybelline super stay matte ink this is in the shade protector protector oh lord jesus mm. yo i really love this color oh my god oh, i saw it and i was like this is a fall color is it gonna be too dark it kind of is but at the same time I love it. And this is pretty much the final look. Ooh, I'm so proud of it. I'm so happy that it turned out really, really good. I'm very happy. I really love the lips. I also love the eyes a lot. And I'm really excited for fall, y'all. I'm excited. I've been tired of summer, okay? This is the time of year to be excited, okay? You get to decorate your house all haunted and pumpkin and fall beautiful yeah guys that concludes today's video on doing this fall makeup tutorial i really hope you enjoy it and like it i loved it i had a lot of fun i hope you enjoyed this video make sure to give it a like make sure to subscribe down to my channel that would mean the world to me stay awesome and i will see you on the next one bye